Okay, everyone. Good day and God bless. Uh, what we're going to do is just do like a review of what we did last week. Okay, we went over a couple of things, but one of the things that we went over was we did a review of the A pentatonic. We did the A natural minor and the A harmonic minor. Okay, and we did a few chord progressions with that. And we also did arpeggios uh, with those uh, new scales. Okay, um, if you remember, the A pentatonic went this way. Five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. Okay, once again, it was five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. So, all right, five eight five seven five seven five seven five eight five eight. Okay. Uh, the other thing that we did was the A natural minor. Okay, the A natural minor went five seven eight five seven eight five seven. That was one octave of it, so. Right? All right, five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight, five, seven. Okay, so that is the A natural minor. You can also add another octave to it, which would make it five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight, five, seven, Four, five, seven on your third string. On your second string, it would be five, six, eight, and then on the first string, it would, it would just be five. Okay, so it would go. Okay, again. That's two octaves of the A natural minor, okay? Uh, the next one was the A harmonic minor. The A harmonic minor. That's the one that had uh, like a Middle Eastern sound to it, okay? So it sounds this way. It would be, actually, it would be 5, 7, 8, 5, 7, 8, 6, 7. 5, 7, 8, 5, 7, 8, 6, 7. Because the 6... Is just we sharpened where you're uh, instead of being on the fifth fret we sharpened it to a six. Technically the note is it goes from uh, G to, to G sharp is the change so it's uh, the sixth note is G sharp. Okay, so. Right. I slide it if you notice the first couple of times because I'm kind of uh, cueing you guys in on the next um, octave if you want to um, explore that the next octave would be six seven nine ten seven nine ten nine ten six seven nine ten seven nine ten nine ten okay Once again, just to make sure on your fourth string that that uh, transition is six, seven, nine, ten, seven, nine, ten, nine, ten. Okay, so those are two octaves of the A natural. Of, I'm sorry, the A harmonic minor. The one we did before was the A natural minor, um, and the only difference between the two is in the natural minor, you your last two notes are G and A, which would be five and seven on your fourth string, as opposed to the harmonic minor, which instead of a G, it would be a G sharp and to an A. And the numbers would be uh, sixth fret and seventh fret on that fourth string. So that's the difference is the sharp. Okay, 
the next thing we're, we're going to do is we're going to work on um, the arpeggio that would would uh, match the the A minor. It would match both the natural minor and the harmonic minor. Okay, you could use it for both. All right, so the notes are going to be A, C, and E, and you could find those. You can bar it. All right. You can bar that, or you can do it. You could do it there, on the open string. But for for the uh, the sake of just the exercise itself, we're going to bar it um, on our fifth fret. So once you when you bar it on your fifth fret, what I mean is you're going to place your your uh, pointer finger um, on the fifth fret, the entire fifth fret. So you're going to cover all six strings. You're going to place your ring finger on the seventh fret of your fifth string. You're going to put your pinky underneath it so it's going to be on the seventh fret of your fourth string. And you'll, you'll strum. Your root, of course, will be um, the, the heaviest note, which would be on your sixth string, fifth fret. You're going to hit that, and then all these the following strings. Right? Right, so that's the A minor that would go with your harmonic minor and your natural minor. Okay, um, to do the arpeggio that would go with the A natural minor um, and also the, the A harmonic minor again uh, because the arpeggio is the uh, slight breakdown of what the chord is. Okay, so uh, the arpeggio would be 5, 8 on your 6th string. And then it would go uh, 7 on your 5th string, 7 on your 4th string. That's it. All right, and so that's the A harmonic minor, A natural minor um, arpeggio. For the, for the A minor chord, and it covers both of those scales. So, having said that, that pretty much covers what we did as far as new scales um, for the class. So you had the pentatonic, we kind of reviewed that, but we went over it a bit because a few few of us were still kind of new to that. Even though it's it's a fun scale, it's kind of easy, um, It's it's best to keep reviewing it. Um, because there's so much that you can do with that particular scale. Um, also, the, the natural minor, we did a lot of uh, things with that. It was a lot of fun, and the harmonic minor. I think that those three um, scales will, will be very interesting in regards to doing the solos over the chords, like chord structures, which leads me to the next um, topic. We did a certain chord um, arrangement where we were hitting the C, all right, and then we did the C major seventh, and then we did A minor, and then we did A sus two, and we remember what the A sus two was. We're suspending the B, taking out the higher C and suspending the B, all right? So, okay, um, so the melody went Frets are first, third, fifth, third, first, open, first. First, third, fifth, third, first, open, first. Okay, the chords were C, two, three, four, C major seventh, one, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, A sus two, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, point, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, A sus two, point, two, 
three, four. And the assignment was to do different picking styles for the chords because we're going to layer one, one style over the other, but it's got to fit in the tempo of the, um, of the rhythm, right? So... So you can do different things as long as it, as it fits with the tempo. You can vary it a little bit. It's going to be beautiful. Just get, uh, keep working on that. Get creative and don't be afraid to explore those, those different things. Okay, so that's what we did. That's a, just a brief explanation of uh, last week's class, which was really good. Um, everybody did a fantastic job as usual. All right, so I'm looking forward to seeing you guys this week coming up.